Hi there, I'm Aiden, and we're going to build an app from a Bitsbox card for the very first time. So, if you look here, I'm back where I was at the end of the very first video. It's called Getting Started. If you haven't watched it yet, please watch that video first. You can click up there uh, to watch that video first. If you've already watched it, you're exactly in the right place. I already coded Food Fight, and I changed my fill to yellow-orange, and I changed the stamp from pie to cake. And I get this little notice down here that says, all done, go home to make your next app. And that's exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to click that home button, just like on a real tablet. And when I do that, I get to my app screen. You'll see Food Fight's up here. I can always click on that little icon and go back up to that app anytime. But down here, there's a new app button. And that's what I want to click to make a new app. So we'll tap on that. It says, do you have a Bitsbox book or card with you? Um, I do. I have my Bitsbox cards in here. So I'm going to say yes. Now it'll say build a numbered app. Enter the four digit number for the app you'd like to make. Well, I'll show you what that means. This is my Bitsbox Apper Keeper binder where I keep my cards. I'm just gonna open this up. I'll actually go over here. The app I wanna build with you today is this mini apps to get you started. This is actually not one app, it's three apps. You'll see there's Hot Stuff, Fire Monster, and snacks please. We're gonna build the last one, snacks please, from this card because it has the text command. I think that's a super cool command. And you'll notice that each app actually has a four digit number next to it. The four digit number for snacks please is 1145. So I'm just gonna put that card down here where I can see it clearly. And I'll type in 1145. And you'll see that by typing in 1145, I told Bitsbox that I want to code Snacks Please, and it automatically preloads the little app icon for me and puts in the title. Just a nice little thing that happens um, if I tell Bitsbox which one I want to type. Now all I have to do is type in the code exactly the way it appears in the card. So line one is stamp monster23400, comma 700. So let's just do that. Stamp, open parentheses, tick, monster23, another tick, comma, 400, comma, 700, close parentheses. Now, I like to run my code after every single line, especially when I'm just getting started coding. Uh, I'm going to hit the play button and see what happens. Check it out. This used the stamp command to put monster23 right here on the screen. And I'll tell you what those numbers mean um, in a few minutes. The next line of code that I want to type in is text, open parentheses, tick, and now I'm actually going to type in what the monster is saying. So have any snacks, and a tick to finish that, a comma, and then a couple of numbers, 250, comma, 400, comma, tick, the color red. So I'm going to turn the text red with this command, and then a close parentheses at the end of the text command. And I'll go ahead and run that app. And check it out. I've got a fire monster on the screen, and he says, have any snacks? Now, I've typed the code exactly the way it says to do it on the card. Um, but the little challenge at the bottom of the card says, can you change what the monster says? So let's see. Maybe the monster should say, I love cookies. So let's try that. I'm just going to highlight what's here. I could also just backspace after I put my little cursor or um, pointer arrow thing. And let's change it to, I love cookies, exclamation mark. And I'll hit play. And you see the, uh, the code actually changed the app. So it says, I love cookies now. Now, these little numbers up here are what are called coordinates. If you look at the arrow on my screen, when I'm up here in the corner of the screen, you'll see that um, the little orange numbers are pretty low. When I'm down here in this corner, the numbers are pretty high. This 400 controls where the stamp is from side to side. So 400 puts it just about in the middle of the screen, but if I change that to a 200, the monster goes over there. If I change it to an 800, the monster goes almost off the screen all the way to the right. I'll put that back to 400 and put it right there. Let's change the color of the text. Let's go from red to, I don't know, green. Something like that. Awesome. Wait a minute, there's one more thing I want to change. I want to change the monster. Uh, monster 23 is fine, but let's try another number. I'm going to pick 17. Monster 17 is a pretty cool pink uh, toothy monster with no legs and lots of drippy pink stuff. So 
That's pretty cool. I changed this app from what it originally said on the card, and that's the whole point. In Bitsbox, it's really great to type it in the way it was, but then use your imagination to make it into anything, anything that you'd like it to be. That's the whole point of learning to code. The last thing I'm going to do now that I'm in here is to actually create a new account. I don't want to, I don't want to lose my work. I want to save it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to this little menu and say, save your work. And it says, create a free kids account to save your apps. I'm going to put my email address in. And that's just Aiden D. Chopra at bitsbox.com. And I'm going to put in my password. It's a secret password. I'm not going to tell you what it is. And I'll hit sign up. And you'll see we're going to go back to the tablet. It says, welcome back, Aiden D. Chopra. Let's dismiss that. And you'll see that I have Food Fight and Snacks Please. Those are the two apps I've built. And now I've saved them. I've actually created a, a free Bitsbox coding account. Not only can I come back to my apps on my tablet anytime I want on this computer, but I can log into my Bitsbox account from any computer anywhere in the world at any time. Also, if you have brothers and sisters or friends who want to share your Bitsbox, you can each create your own separate Bitsbox coding account and use the same materials if you want. So it's really powerful. Thank you very much for watching. The next thing we're going to do in the next video is learn how to share your apps with other people, with friends and family. Take care and have fun.